Well everyone, the clean launch of the new Naturalist update didn't last long in Red Dead Online. Since the weekend started, players across all platforms have been experiencing numerous bugs and been facing an all-time high in disconnections. Even worse, players and well-known Red Dead Online content creators and streamers like That Devil James, Swole TV, and Hazard have been getting harassed by modders and cheaters. Just wait until you see what happened to Swole during his stream over on Twitch. This is obviously a big problem. Several upstanding members of the Red Dead online community and fellow content creators like Dirty Tyler here on YouTube have been dealing with these issues and taking to social media to make these problems known with tons to say. But before we dig into the details, leave a like rating down below to show your support and maybe with enough traction, this video can act as a catch-all video for Rockstar and they can make some changes soon. Okay, lightening things up a bit, I do owe you all an announcement for our most recent 350 gold bar giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiasco family, the winner is... Sleepy Cat. Congratulations, Sleepy Cat. I just need you to respond to the pinned comment down below, and we will get you set up with those gold bars as soon as possible. Big ups to everyone else that participated, and don't worry, there will be more giveaways here soon on the channel for all platforms. So back to the state of the Naturalist update. It's facing some serious issues, you guys, and I hate to say it, but they are not small. To kick things off in regards to the recent alarmingly high volume of player reported disconnects, Videotech over on Twitter says, Red Dead Online honestly needs dedicated servers. I keep receiving disconnection errors every five minutes. Player to player servers must go away. I agree with Videotech 110%. Player to player servers are so outdated and just not reliable anymore, obviously. Silent Core, another well known YouTube content creator for Red Dead Online, says connections today on Xbox have been terrible and constant black screens when starting legendary hunt missions. So seemingly this is affecting players on all platforms. Dirty Tyler had this to say and he seems to be getting the worst of it. He says this, check it out. I really wanted to make a video, but it's been like this for four hours now. I can stay on zero to 30 seconds max. How many of these before a person just stops playing and uninstalls the game? You can't sell gold bars to someone who can't even play. So guys, this has become a huge problem already, not just for players, but for some people that are trying to actually create content for their followers, ultimately affecting their livelihood on these platforms like YouTube and Twitch. Disconnects have been an issue in the past, but they are plaguing more than half of the community right now based on this poll from Videotech and they are happening way more consistently than ever before based on what Dirty Tyler said when they were happening to him every 30 seconds, which is unbelievable. Dirty Tyler even had a follow-up tweet saying, still can't stay on longer than 30 seconds for about six to seven hours now. Not sure if I will be able to do a daily post today. Thanks, Digital Firefly, for the idea for the new logo. And as you can see here, attached is a logo that says Red Dead Offline. Pretty accurate. Now, guys, I hope Rockstar Games can get the servers back on track before you and other players start giving up again out of frustration because player to player servers are just not reliable anymore. It's as simple as that, and each update in Red Dead Online proves it to be a worsening problem. Red Dead Online community on Twitter threw up a tweet for a workaround that seems to help a bit, so if you are experiencing disconnects, check this out. On the topic of disconnects in Red Dead Online, a member of our subreddit has a somewhat unconventional workaround. Maxol86 says, I shit you not, the only way I've been getting into lobbies is by joining races from the main menu and quitting into free roam. Doesn't work every time though, never had a problem until this update. So to those of you watching right now having issues, be sure to try this out, it's worth a shot. Like Max said here, it may not work 100% of the time, but it's better than not being able to play at all. Now let's move this discussion from network issues to a more serious problem problem modders. Modders have been a problem in Red Dead Online for a while now and seemingly the only way to get rid of them is to report them to Rockstar. Sure, Rockstar does their part when a report has been filed, but recently things have been getting out of control. Modders have now found a way to disguise themselves as other players with a name spoofer. This results in the wrong player getting reported and banned. So now, but to no fault of your own, the reports you file to Rockstar could be more hurtful than helpful, and as a result, you could be getting an innocent player banned. Right now, there is a thread over on Twitter I want to show you in all of its detail because it is important you hear it. Hazard started this thread stating, The cheating continues to ensue. The same cheater jumps to whatever player's lobby they want, blows everyone up, and disguises themselves as the target's name. It's completely out of hand, and it prevents content creators like myself and others from doing our jobs. I cannot stress enough how bad this has gotten over the past two days. Typically, you'll encounter a fair amount of it in one-off lobbies here and there, but this is a direct assault on specific content creators on Twitch 
and alas, other members of the community needs to be looked into. So this is getting out of hand, you guys. It goes way deeper than we thought and has gotten way more serious than ever before. Just look at how bad Swole TV was affected by these types of cheaters in game during his live stream. And then we'll also show off a clip that that devil James had too, where he experienced some of the same issues. But it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. That's just the, uh, that's just the life of a streamer, I suppose. That's just the life of a streamer. It's not, it's not Swole TV. It's not Swole TV. They're using my name. I'm just, I'm standing in my camp. I'm, a, I'm streaming right now on Twitch. They're just griefing the shit out of me. So guys, I had a call with Swole TV before recording today over on Discord, and he said one cheater was disguising himself as that Devil James, another fellow streamer. This cheater was blowing up the entire lobby under his name. That Devil James has got ahead of this and been in talks with Rockstar Game Support about the issue. There have been thousands of reports apparently on his account for cheating, but he has never done such a thing. That Devil James would never do that. Now luckily his account is still active thanks to his efforts and communication with Rockstar, but he still has his fair share of encounters with cheaters during streams like this one here. You guys can hop into my server, wherever I go. It's just crazy, right? It's so weird that Rockstar is allowing this type of stuff to be going down still. Now, Swole TV and That Devil James are just two of the many streamers and players being targeted by cheaters and it has gotten out of hand. I want to let you all know, be careful when reporting players for cheating. Try to just leave the session as soon as you see any suspicious activity because right now, it's hit or miss as to whether or not you are reporting the right player's ID. Like I said earlier, unfortunately these cheaters have figured out a way to disguise themselves and you could accidentally report an innocent player and get them banned as a result. Server issues and cheaters aside, some other bugs have surfaced in game like the inability to call in owned vehicles, visual hair glitches, visual bandolier glitches, legendary animal mission startups resulting in infinite black screens, and many more. A recent poll over on Twitter from Red Dead Online Community received a huge 2,000 votes showing that over half of the players that participated have not found any legendary animals in free roam. They've even tweeted out stating that it has been over 112 days in game with no luck of finding any legendary animals in free roam. I covered the legendary animal issue in another video if you would like to see more detail on the issue and how to get around it, but these things are all adding up fast. Alarmingly high reports of server issues, cheaters affecting the livelihood of content creators, and numerous bugs surfacing preventing players from enjoying the update. It goes without saying, but Rockstar Games need to be made aware of these issues. Listen, I know the update just came out, but this is a lot all at once. Let's come together like we have been in the past few months, stay together, stay strong and bring attention to all of these issues in hopes that Rockstar takes notice and implements some way to resolve these problems sooner than later before we end up right back where we were before the new Naturalist update went live. All right, everyone, that sums up today's video. I hope this news, as bad as it may be, at least did its purpose of informing you and keeping you up to date for everything Red Dead Online. A like rating would seriously be appreciated, and if you are a new visitor or a returning one that is not subscribed yet, please consider doing so to be a part of the special first 100K Fiasco family members. Have a great night. I hope to see you all in the next one. Later.